Shabbos and Shalom, everybody. Welcome to Hebrew Readers Church. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me do this transition. That was the lesson we just did, and now here's the new one. <laughs> uh, we hope you all enjoyed the lesson, um, the, the attack on the women. I did that so that we could get a little reference in for the for the lesson that we just did. Uh, we are coming in to Q&A week 46. Um, if you have any questions, please write them in the chat below, or we'll touch on the questions that were sent in to the email. Um, any newcomers to the channel, we thank you. We thank you for, for coming and partaking with us. Um, please subscribe so that you can know when we come on, or you can check out a lot of the – we have a lot of older videos that was, that have some very great information. Please, please check them out. Um, all the new family members, I mean, all the family members and everybody that keeps up with us, Shabbat Shalom, we greet you in the name of Ahaya. I know I'm speaking Spanglish to a lot of people who are new, so please just go back and check out the videos. Is there anything that you want to touch on, Casa, for the new people that are joining us so that we're not speaking as a barbarian? Peace be unto you on the Sabbath day. We are glad to have you all here. This is, Brother Zach well said, this is a biblical question and answers where we commune with you all and a lot of information on the YouTube page. We hope it's edifying and we are excited to have you all with us because we're continually growing in the faith and also as a family. So you can also feel free to email us questions, comments, or even just for communication's sake. Hopefully we can get to know each other and have an opportunity to meet the uh, live video of some sort, and eventually, hopefully, we see each other in person in the times to come. Amen. That's my Spanglish. All right. So we do call on, on Ahaya. Ahaya means I am, or Ahaya Asherei Ahaya means I am that I am. That's from Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. We also call upon Yache, which is the Hebrew root word of salvation or Savior, so that people can understand why we say these different words or why we are calling on these different names that you may not be familiar with. All of this is Hebrew, so we are actually speaking Hebrew words mixed in with our English, so so that you're not <laughs> so that you're not confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was what you talking about, Spanish. That was Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got me with this man. <laughs> uh, like I tell people, man, I speak I speak English and Amaya. I mean, I mix my English words with Arabic while I be speaking. Like, uh, or, or somebody who speaks, I guess, English, Spanish. You know, they be mixing the English words with the Spanish. So we mix a lot of Hebrew words with English, and it just all goes together. So. <laughs> You'll get used. They'll get used to it. Right. You'll get used to it. <laughs> but we welcome you, nonetheless. <laughs> As you can see. All right. We have a couple of questions that were sent in to the email. Brother Kasifo, you want to touch on the email question first? Yeah, sure. There was a question from Sister Maddie last week about the 400 years, and as I said in the last Q and A, that I don't know when the 400 years is up. Because after reading it, I came to realize a former teaching on the 1619 to 2019 being of 400 years was not correct, according to the events of the Old Testament and the testimonies and the precepts concerning the 400 years in Scripture. I apologize for the wrong teaching and the wrong edification, and I'd like to take this opportunity to clarify the truth of the matter. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 and 14, it said, and he said unto Abram, Know for a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that's not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward they shall come out with a great substance. So the people, the affliction has to happen. The people has to serve that nation within that time. That nation has to be judged within that four hundred years. And afterwards, after that, the people will come out with great substance, even as it transpired in the Exodus. When you look in the scriptures, the precept to understand when the 400 years will be coming to a close is in 2nd Ezra, chapter 7, verse 28. 
It says, for my son Yache will be revealed with those that be with him. That's speaking of Yache coming with his angels here in the end times. And with those that be with him and they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years. That's the remnant. The 144,000 are going to rejoice within 400 years. That's letting us know, according to precept, the 400 years won't come to its close before Yache returns. It's going to be within the 400 years that he's going to come with his angels and save his people. Just as he came within the 400 years back in the Exodus. Because the 400 year period started from the birth of Isaac. Because he said in Genesis 15 and 13 that thy seed shall be a stranger. So he started with the birth of Isaac on first fruits. That's the day he was born, according to the book of Jubilees. And the 400 years was actually complete on Mount Sinai, which was the day of first fruits when they first received the law, which was the great substance that was given unto them through the spirit of Christ. And here in the end times, the great substance, the people are going to receive it and fulfill this prophecy. And may I have be gracious. Hopefully we might go into a lesson on that at a later time. But I apologize again about teaching the wrong thing and hopefully the precept helps understand that 400 years won't be complete or come to its close until Yache comes with his angels in the end. Amen for the revelation. We definitely will stay in prayer after church for everybody. If there's any prayer requests, please send them to our email or contact us and we will definitely lift up prayers as we ask for you all to lift up prayers for us and our families, for we all need it, and we all need to come together as a family. Praise Ahaya for that.